Hi, uh, my name is Rod Campbell and uh, I'm going to do some mods on this BO 105 which I have which I'm not impressed with the volume so I intend to swap out the two speakers for uh, Mr. RC TT25 sounders which literally glue inside the fuselage as you can see um, the original setup I've got the speakers attached to the side frames uh, they're going to come off uh, glue them in the sounders or transducers whatever you want to call them and uh, hopefully you got a louder sound resonating through the fuselage it'll all become one speaker I've tried it on other models and it works very well but before I start um, I'm going to do a few videos on uh, how to's for sound units for model aircraft which I have a few and also helicopters I'm getting good results but uh, people think it's complicated it's not that complicated so I'll just go through the basics first what's required obviously uh, you need the sound unit uh, you obviously need a battery pack to power it which in this case I use a 6S1000 uh, basically what happens is the signal from the throttle comes in on the white one there from the, re uh, from the receiver uh, it goes out to the ESC or your speed control so the one that's marked yellow there all these uh, markings are on the instructions when you get the module anyway it's not confusing and you also need a spare channel which I have I think I've, it's auxiliary 3 on my um, spectrum uh, I've got two free channels on here I use one for the lights and one for the second sound control which I'll explain in a moment so um, as I say the throttle comes in on the white from the receiver goes out to the speed controller on the yellow there I mark these so you can't get mixed up because uh, you can get confused but this one that's marked up in red that's the one from the spare channel and all that requires is you flick a switch and it'll bring the secondary sound in what I mean secondary sound is you've got your normal engine start up but you've got other sounds you can put as well you can put as many as you want on but you can only play the secondary sound one at a time you can have them looped or you can have them play once for instance if I flick the switch twice it'll go to the secondary sound if it's looped it'll carry on playing until you tell it to stop that's two flicks on the switch again if it's play once it'll just play once and finish but you could have a number of sounds on the secondary sound for instance three or four and that would be denoted by how many times you flick a switch for instance if you had a, a gun noise in the third position you would flick it three times and it would play that gun either once or looped depends on what you want anyway getting back to the basics um, you can see the rest of the leads on here you've got a power supply to this and also your output to the speakers I use 6S to feed it if you see you see the terminals in here they're marked up it's got speakers pos and neg and the voltage pos and neg I see it's 6S volts the board gets its power off your uh, receiver so you don't have to have it running it'll still run the model even without it connected because it actually goes through there you know what I mean it goes through the board the throttle signal and to your ESC so there's no problems there but um, what I'm going to do I'll go more into the the board itself uh, and I'll show you how to alter the software and how to change sound files but basically if you look here there's an SD card there uh, I can take an SD card out put it into a PC and select another sound file and there's numerous helicopters or airplanes on there all you do is you go to a folder uh, change my sound set and put the new details in plug it in and uh, you got a new sound so it's not really complicated but a lot of the sounds I edit myself and I, I use this port here uh, I couple it up to my PC and I can chop the sounds put your own sounds on and do all that and you can get this software from a model sounds incorporated it's it's an extra price of maybe $40 but it's definitely worth it because you can customize all your sounds when you buy this unit which by the way they don't make anymore there's a new one out it's come out this year this is a um, shockwave 2 
has now got the shockwave free out which is even better again because it has um, you can play two sounds at once on the secondary sound and you've got your engine noise so you can play literally three sounds at once so uh, it's getting to, especially for guns and things like that you know it's getting really good like but it's also got a Doppler I fixed to it so what it must do is use your GPS so when you come towards yourself the sound raises or lowers I don't know but it gives a sound of a real aircraft when it passes you you know what I mean but we'll, we'll not get into that now I'm not going to complicate things I'm just giving you a, a rough idea of what the board is uh, your inputs and outputs you've got two little dials here uh, the one on the left here as you're looking at it that's for your balance between the two speakers and this one here is your volume controller which I, I have it maxed out to get the maximum volume as I say it pushes 40 watts out it's plenty loud enough especially when you're in a room like this it's really loud but the problem is when you're in the sky is getting uh, the sound out uh, that's why I'm gonna put these sounders on because it, it, I've tried it on one model and uh, it really impressed how loud it is it's as good as the Huey which is really loud but I'll, I'll go into that later but anyway uh, basic things with the board this is it when you purchase the board uh, you you can buy the whole unit with speakers and wires and everything. I just buy the board and buy my own speakers because you can get these speakers off eBay. It's uh, called the R90S. Uh, the four ohms. You put two of them in there. Uh, it's actually wired in series, yeah. So that means it's an eight ohm system. So you must run into eight ohms, you know. So two four ohm speakers or two four ohm sounders. Um, but I say I'll not go on and on about this because we're going to do a video on this. What I'll do, I'll just pause the video here and uh, I'll I'll do the mods to uh, the shell to put these sounds in, and uh, we'll fire up tomorrow and see how loud it is. We'll do a comparison between the two. Thanks.